character was in a notebook page, but I can't remember which page. Either, okay, and then you've got one here, which is, looks like an early Pud Withers. Uh, what's interesting is um, the character in the upper left. would have 
actually ended up being used much later on in Rick's story of uh, Rick having to adjust himself to um, the, um, Jaka's uh, far more uh, romantic uh, experiences than he had. Uh, so that was one of those all right, I want to get into Jocka's life story, but uh, there ended up not being convenient room for that. There had to be, uh, Jocka's story had to be a linear forward progress narrative having to do with uh, her growing up in Palmu and why she left Palmu and uh, very, very little uh, about her life as a dancer, per se. How she became a dancer, yes, but not as a dancer. That uh, I even o uh, only got into fragmentarily in, uh, in Rick's story. Uh, Guardian, what the, who is this? What was his, her, its place in the storyline as, oh, now my page is already ordered. as originally outlined in Dave's mind, and where did he, she, it go? Uh, that's an easy one. That was uh, Nurse, before I called her Nurse, um, is uh, what's the, this little passage that I hang on there. Told her about those times where you start dancing and you feel it like you may never stop, the pain is excruciating. Uh, that got changed into uh, the point where Jaka was dancing that way and then had her major accident and uh, uh, was pretty much in a coma for a period of time. Um, so that was... nurse warning about that, which uh, when I ended up finally using the anecdote, no, nurse doesn't warn her about that. As a matter of fact, she she makes it worse and uh, causes the accident. Uh, the sketch at the bottom of the page looks a little like Pud, but not nearly as fat. Is that an early, non-fat version of Pud, or is it someone that ended up on the cutting room floor, so to speak? Uh, that's an interesting question because the same sort of thing, if you ask me, um, this is a sketch from your notebook, who do you think this is a sketch of? Uh, I would say that, that that would be a sketch of Mike Cave, who I met uh, at Peter's place when he was a bartender and later a bartender and and this jockey, and I was one of the ushers at his wedding. Um, it would be interesting to know if I drew Mike Cave before I met Mike Cave, uh, designing the, uh, uh, the bartender and, uh, and grocery clerk in Jocka's story. Or had I already met Mike King? So uh, I know that uh, I had met Mike Cave by the time of Melmoth because uh, I used him and Rolly and Eric as uh, uh, three mourners at, uh, at Oscar's funeral. Um, but that's, uh, that's an interesting question. Did I draw Mike Cave before I met Mike Cave? And Consequently, summon Mike Cave to Peter's place, or uh, was I? Did I draw Mike Cave early in the time period of knowing Mike Cave? Uh, who's the pissed off looking young lady in the upper left? She never made it into the storyline either, at least not in that form, and not in Chuck's story. Uh, if you ask me. <laughs> Okay, here's the sketch in your notebook, Dave. And who do you think this is a sketch of? Uh, 
good occurrence, but uh, a couple of memorable times, uh, like the time when she smashed an ashtray. Uh, yeah, she was definitely not not happy with me that time. Uh, and that's just off the top of my head. If there's any more from the preliminary planning of Chapter Story, Margaret, I hereby request it. Thanks. And I think I'm safe in saying that uh, Margaret um, twist her rubber arm to talk about and use pages from uh, the Chaka story section of the notebooks, since it's still her favorite Cerebus story. And Tony asked about the first image. I wonder if that's Pug's mom at the top left. Uh, that's possible. That's possible because there is uh, But it ends up writing uh, his diary to his to his mother and uh, documenting things. I don't know if I had early on the idea of her writing to Pud and uh, having uh, those that correspondence endure. Could be, but could is possible. Uh, okay, and you write. I think that's the question Margaret asked me. You know. She has your fax number, too. Why am I the middleman? It's, it's a tough life being the Amok Grand Puba uh, with a wink and a smile. Okay, I think that's all the bases. Talk to you Thursday until, unless you're still not back from Wonderland. Well, I'm, uh, I'm not all the way back from Wonderland. It's, it's, it's an interesting uh, how it comes and goes, but uh, I hope I was reasonably lucid this time up. Fairly reasonably, yes. Okay, good. And uh, if there's any gaps or uh, any really co completely unlucid parts that anybody wants to ask about, uh, we've never had a please hold for Dave Stem about a previous please hold for Dave Stem. Uh, there might have been questions that I might have forgot about. I mean, that's I'll post something and somebody will ask them, I'm like, i got to remember this. And then a month later it's like, where did that go? Uh, it's here somewhere. If, if I really didn't like you, I'd send you a picture of my desk saying, explain to me what this is, Dave, and you'd be going, I don't want to know what your desk looks like, Matt. There you go. There you go. Okay, uh, I'm going to go and get something to eat now. Okay. Thank you, as always. Uh, and thanks to everybody who, uh, who listens to all this, and I hope you find it entertaining, engaging, and uh, thought-provoking. And if possible, all three. I second that. Okay, say hi to Paula and Janice and Paul Winkle for me. Will do.